So how will we assess this unit? Well, the primary assessment is going to be a journal that you create. So you need to set it up in a way that works for you. You'll move through the five different sections and then refer to the handout to see exactly what needs to be in each of the elements of your journal. But let's take a look at the very first one. So section one are 11 rules. These are rules that are fundamental to writing and punctuating grammar. You have to know them. They're either right or they're wrong. Okay. So um, what we want you to do is write down the rule and the page number. Just copy it straight out of the book. Then put it in your own words. Put it in, in language that you understand. Give it an example of an incorrect sentence and then an example of a correct sentence. Now, you are welcome to copy these examples straight out of Strunk and White. That's not going to bother me at all. But make sure that you are thinking about what is wrong and then how is it right so that when you're writing, you can go back and refer to that. So you've finished up with section one and you have recorded in your journal at least five rules about writing. Now, what happens if you don't want to do it in a split page journal format, but you would rather set it up a different way? That's fine. We don't care. Just make sure you label the parts so that it's easy for us to see what you're doing. Be consistent in what you're doing within your document. But let's move on to now the principles. Principles are a little bit harder because they're not right or wrong. They're more of a discussion about writing in general. So what we want you to do is choose at least three of these principles. As always, you can do more, but choose at least three of the principles to write about. And then really discuss what you see. So for instance, principle 13 talks about viewing paragraphs as units of argument and that you really base these paragraphs based on purpose and audience. So for instance, we have been taught in academic writing that a clear paragraph has a topic sentence, that it is usually five to seven sentences minimum, that it has a concluding idea, um, and it, we have certain elements that we put into academic writing. But that changes with narrative writing. We talked about that in the last unit. So in narrative writing, it's perfectly okay to have a single sentence paragraph. It's even okay if that single sentence is a fragment. Does that not blow your mind or what? So principles are ways of thinking about language. Read what Strunk and White have to say and then choose three of those to put into your journal. Follow that format all the way through, through section five, and then uh, put your uh, journal in a way that you can upload it to Canvas and get it uploaded. Everything will be located on Canvas so you can get to all the handouts and the support materials and additional exercises that you can do if you want additional work. Anybody that knows me knows that I love grammar. I get really kind of geeky and excited about it. But students come back every year and say this is one of the most beneficial units that they've had in all of their English classes because it really is the backbone for good writing. So check your target dates on Canvas. Work through it quickly and efficiently. And as always, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask.